As we know, the captain has plenty of hits, 3,400 and, and something of them. But he actually, he got one of them taken away, didn't he? He did, and it was a big one. It was actually the one that tied Hannes Wagner on August 8th. If you remember, you see Ramirez right there. He had a range to his left. He threw it to Carlos Santana. He was off balance. Here's another look at it. Actually, almost behind second base. And even if Santana catches that ball and is able to hold on to it, it would have been a close play. That was eventually ruled a hit. However, the Indians uh, went back and said, take another look at that. We don't believe that that was a hit. We think it was an error. And Joe Torre went on to then rule it an error. So that news just came down today. And there was a big media contingent around Derek Jeter's uh, locker after that news came out. Uh, and he said, What's going on? Did you think I, I was going to bash Mr. T because he's the one that made the decision? I don't think so. There's no story here. I was able to get the other baseball. They actually saved a couple thereafter, knowing that that one could potentially be overturned at some point in time. So Derek Jeter does have the baseball. And if you're keeping track at home, it was August 9th, the single that tied Wagner, Wagner and then August 11th in Baltimore. He had a double off of Bud Norris. That's the one that actually put him in sole possession of sixth place on baseball. Baseball's all-time hit list. Yes, and Wagner won't be catching him. Uh, he has a, a six-hit <laughs> lead and, and still counting right now.